Hey guys, this is Amy Jo. Welcome back to DCTC for another episode. I am 99.9% .9 sure that what I'm getting ready to show you is the most adorable thing that you will ever see in your entire life. Are you ready? I hope you're ready, because I am. Let's take a look at all of these cute things. Everything is so colorful and bright. So we have some tools. Here's a roller. There's an extruder. Look at this fancy cutter. I bet that makes wavy lines in the dough when you cut it. There's some little cutouts and molds. There's a heart and a star and a circle and another tool. This is a birthday candle mold. I don't know if you can see that very well. You'll be able to when we put the dough in it. There's four different cans of dough. There's pink and green and blue and yellow. And we haven't opened these yet, but see the top of them has a character in it. So I think this looks like Pepper. This, I don't know, this could be Mommy Pig because she's holding a little pig. Let's see the tops of these. There's the kitty cat. I can't remember her name, of course. There's Emily. She's the elephant. And, oh, I don't remember the rabbit's name either. I see Susie Sheep over here, and there's Emily again. So this is the actual birthday cake, and I think, and I'm just looking at it for the first time, but I think that's what we will decorate. And then this clear lid also has tons of molds in it. All of the different characters from Peppa. Okay, so Peppa's birthday cake dough set. Let's have some fun. Before we get started, I wanted to do a quick comparison of the dough that came with the Peppa Pig birthday set and regular Play-Doh. So this is regular Play-Doh, although it is sparkly, but this is regular Play-Doh, the green, and then this is the dough that came with the Peppa Pig set, and the consistency is very similar. The only difference is the smell. This dough that came with the Peppa set smells delicious. Give it a little smell. Whiff. Now smell this. Just kidding, that doesn't work, does it? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. This has really, really nice consistency. So let's just start by trying out one of the candles. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. I just wanna, I wanna kinda compare it because I haven't ever used this kind of dough before. Okay, so just straight out of the mold, I can tell you this, it's a little softer. And it, I don't know, maybe we're supposed to fold this. I'm just scared it's gonna break. So I'm just gonna press it in with my hands, but it's hard to get a really firm impression with this. Let's take a look. Okay, so that's a little better. Well, let's start making our cake.
Now let's try one of the molds that's in the lid. Now the only thing that worries me about this is that they're very shallow, so it might be kind of hard to pull them out, but we'll see. This little tool is really, really handy. Oh, that's perfect. Let's try this one with Rebecca Rabbit. <laughs> so cute. Now that we have some different decorations made, let's get back to decorating our cake. I took the plastic mold that sits on top of the base of the cake and filled it with pink Play-Doh to look like frosting. And the next thing that we can do is decorate the top part right here. Let's work on some frosting for this cake. I filled up the extruder with the green dough and you see when you press this through, the dough will come out the front of the extruder like that. Well, it's really not that easy. So what I'll do is press out a lot of the green Play-Doh and then I will decorate the cake with it. Maybe what we'll do is press that on and then we can make it look fancy by bending it. Or not. <laughs> All right, let me mess around with that. So on the box, they have the frosting weaving up and down like this, but I couldn't get it to stick at all. Let me show you. It's, uh, it's too smooth and slippery. So I put the layer of frosting around the top of it, and I think that looks cute too. Let's do that again for the top row of our cake. The next thing that I'm gonna do is use the extruder to make some little decorations to go on top of the frosting. Okay, and now we can take those and decorate our cake. <laughs> Let's add some more decorations. Now let's try some of these cool tools that come with this set. We can make hearts and little circles and stars.
Here's our birthday cake so far, but do you know what we're missing? Birthday candles! This is the best Play-Doh tool. I love it. Okay, here's one candle. That turned out cute. And here's the other. Two candles. Okay, now I think the only way that we're gonna get these candles to stand up is if we put a little piece of Play-Doh on the top of this. That way, the Play-Doh candle will stick to the blob of dough. Oopsie, <laughs> maybe not. Oh, that one looks pretty solid. Let's try this again. There we go, yay! The only, oh, the only thing we need to do now is sing happy birthday to Peppa. You're going to sing happy birthday to me? Oh, that's lovely. Well, I'm not very good at singing, Peppa, but I'll do my best, okay? Okay, wonderful. Go, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, here I go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peppa. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Now, let me have a look at that cake. Oh wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh wow, there's even a picture of my brother George on it. Would you like to eat some, Peppa? Would I ever? It looks delicious. Okay guys, that's it for Peppa's birthday cake dough playset. Hope that you enjoyed this video and that if you did, you'll click on the like button. And check out the rest of our videos on our channel and if you like what you see, we hope that you will subscribe and be part of our club. This is DCTC, thanks for watching. Ugh, my tummy hurts. I believe I overdid it. Ugh, oh, definitely I ate way too much. Oh, oh, tummy. Please feel better soon, please.